Okay, let's get started. First, we got to open a browser. Then we need to navigate to the codegang.com. That should bring us to this home page. And then what we're going to do is scroll down the page until we get to the access our tools section. And we're going to click sign up. Okay, we're going to need to enter and register an email. We want to make sure we use a valid email because we're going to get some information via email that we need to complete registration. I'm going to enter test at test.com. This won't work for you guys, so be sure to use a valid email address. And then I'm going to enter a password. And then I'm going to enter the same password again, confirming it. And click register. Now, when I click register, if everything is good and I got my passwords matching, then I should be returned to the home screen. If I do something wrong and like my passwords don't match, then I'll get an error message. And then I'll need to come back to the registration page and try again. I came back to the home screen, so everything went well. After registering my email, I should have received my first email with some more details and instructions to continue the registration process. So let's try to find that email really quick. And you should have something that looks like this. It has a greeting, uh, talks about day zero a little bit, and then it has a user ID, right? We wanna copy this, because we're gonna need it. And this ID is needed to complete the connection form, all right? This email also has some uh, some details about the Discord link, which has the registration channel, which has uh, some detailed instructions and images on how to complete the connection form, like I'm going to walk you through. And then it has the bot support area, which has some details about the bot and different features and that kind of thing. So be sure to check out the Discord if you haven't already. So in any case, I'm going to grab this uh, user ID just to be sure. And then I'm going to go back to the registration confirmation page or the home screen, home page rather. We're going to go to Nitrato because that's the service you're using for console. And then we have a form we got to fill out that has quite a few entries here. All right. And one being the user ID that we copied from this email. All right. So really quickly, I'm going to go over what these different fields are and uh, and talk to you about what we need to do in order to fill them out. OK, so we need to enter our email. We're going to use the one that we registered. So that would be test.test.com for me. And then the password that you registered as well for that email. And then we're going to put in the user ID that we copied from the email. OK, the next few fields, we're going to get this info from our Nitrato server. And specifically, I'm talking about our server username, service ID, server region, and access token. OK, so we need to pull up uh, Nitrato and go to our server to grab those details. So, you know, log into Nitrato. Once you're logged in, you're going to go to my services. You're going to go to the server that you're working with. Go to the settings. And then when the settings load, you're going to scroll down to the FTP credentials area. So we need to grab a couple values. We're going to grab this value here, this number in the URL address. We're going to copy that. And we're going to go back to our registration page, or registration form, rather. And then we're going to put that service ID in the service ID field, right? So paste it there. And then we're going to go back to our Nitrato page. And then we're going to copy this copy this username. This is the username there. And we're going to go back and in the server username field, we're going to paste that in there as well. Server username, service ID. All right. And then we need to put in our server region. You determined your region when you rented your server. So it's going to be one of these options. Simplest just to copy the region from underneath and then paste it in. You want to have the exact format. So it's going to be one of these. And then lastly, for our Nitrato details, we need an access token. So we go back to our uh, Nitrato server page. We go back to profile. We're going to go to my account. We're going to go down to developer portal and lifelong tokens or long life tokens, rather. All right. And so you're going to create a token. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to say test two. I have a test one already. And then you're going to select the root server and the service. You only really need these two uh, for the kill feed to work, to get the, the bot to get the details that it needs from your server. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click, click, excuse me, create. And you should get a green token from here to here. We're going to copy that. This is only going to be displayed for a little while, so go ahead and get a copy now. And then you're going to go back to our connection form. 
and then we're gonna paste that access token into our field like so. So we've got everything that we need from Nitrato at this point. Okay, the last couple fields are for your Discord info and the platform that you're playing on. So let's pull up Discord really quick and let's add, let's change something really quick so we can get the info we need. So you guys will, if you haven't done this already, enable developer mode, you're gonna go down to your user settings. You're gonna go to, I uh, believe, uh, appearance. Nope, not appearance. Let's go to uh, advanced. And we're gonna turn on developer mode. So if this isn't toggled, you wanna toggle that on. And um, you know, these two doesn't really matter. It's whatever your preference is, but we want that toggled. All right, and then once we have that done, we can escape here. And then now we have the ability to get IDs pretty easily. All right, and so this form wants our Discord Guild ID or Server ID. Guild ID, Server ID is the same thing. It's the ID for your actual Discord. So if I go over here to my Bot Support Discord over here on the, on the left, if I right click, I can click Copy ID. This is what Developer Mode enables me to do. And I get the ID for my actual Discord server. And then I can go ahead and paste that in. All right, and then the platform, it's gonna be one of these three, Xbox, PlayStation, or PC. And this is a Xbox server that I'm on, so I'm just gonna type it just the way I see it, all caps, and it's gonna be Xbox, like so. All right, once I have all this information uh, filled out in a connection form, then I'm gonna click Submit. If everything goes fine, then I should go back to the home page like I did when I registered. If not, then the page won't do anything. It'll just sit here. It'll just sit there. No error, no nothing. It'll just sit here. And that's telling you something's wrong. So you need to double check your, your values, and make sure you got things entered correctly and then try. So let's click submit. And I came back to the home page. So that means everything went successfully. So I was able to successfully register my email address. And then I was able to successfully uh, submit the connection form. After a successful form submission, you should get a second registration email. And let's go to that email. That should look something like this. Daisy registration part two. And then it's going to give you a link to invite the bot to your Discord. And it's going to tell you that you need to create an admin role and that it must be spelled exactly. And that's so that you can interact with the bot. Otherwise, you'll get a permission error. And so if I go to my Discord and if I click on my name, you can see I have an admin role created, capital A, lowercase everything else, so that I can talk to and interact with my bot. Uh, let's go back to the email. You can also get an account ID in this email. All right, this ID is important. It's not the same as your uh, user ID. This ID is so that you can actually enter, uh, start your tools uh, or tool in this case for the free to kill feed. Now, when you guys uh, get your tools uh, unlocked by an admin or by myself, then we will send you a list of commands um, that will include the format for the start command using your account ID. Commands can also be referenced in the Discord uh, bots uh, subscribe bot support area in the uh, under kill feed we scroll up to the top here we can see what the kill feed admin and survivor commands are okay and there's that kill feed uh, the start command that you need your account ID for command uh, kill feed space start space uh, account ID all right guys well that's really all there is to it pretty straightforward pretty simple uh, process. If you like this video and or you found it helpful, hit that like and subscribe button. Liking this video tells YouTube's algorithm that it was helpful and they'll show it to more people. Subscribing to the channel helps support me and allows me to continue bringing you guys content that you find helpful and useful in our Daisy console communities. That's all I have for now. Until next time.